Should you be buying Ren Sport this year? Let's have a look at the footage they provided. And there's some really interesting things I'm going to show you in this video. We're also going to compare it directly against iRacing. We're here at Hockenheim in the 911 GT3. It's a track I know really well. I drove here for 10 hours straight in iRacing to raise some money for Stand Up to Cancer. And I tell you what, it's a pretty good realization of the track. Look at the way the sun's coming through the clouds there. The skybox here is definitely nicer than what you get on iRacing on the highest settings, which is what I run with my 3080 RTX graphics card. And you can see the stands here were realized. The curbs as well have a lot of detail, which is really, really, really good for braking markers. But before we do the slow motion analysis, let's do best the side by side with iRacing. This is going to be the most obvious thing you're going to see with your own eyes to decide whether you should be getting this over iRacing or even ACC. So you can see here that the lighting just looks to be way more detailed in Rensport. I know we're on a different time of day in iRacing, but the lighting in Rensport seems to be a step above. It's kind of more on par with Gran Turismo 7, I would say. iRacing at the bottom, which like I said, I do run at your really high settings. Both these videos are compressed because they're from YouTube, but the Rensport kind of track details. Have a look at the markers on the side of the track that you can use for braking use for turn in points, catching the glimpse of your eye. The cockpit as well just seems to be a bit more detailed with the HUD, the way the reflections are working as well. You see I'm racing, I've got all the shadows um, in the cockpit as well, but just not quite at the same level as Rensport. So from a graphical candy point of view, I have to say Rensport is looking pretty, pretty, pretty good. I'm going to show you here the full screen of, of iRacing just for a couple of seconds so you can have this fresh in your mind iRacing is an old game. It's a really, really old game by Papyrus. I love iRacing. I've had some great times on iRacing. But sometimes the engine does really, really, really show its age. You can see here we've got lots of, lots of time marks on the track. You can see the marbles there coming off the tyres. And also, yes, I have a horrendous amount of overlays. So let's talk about the HUD in Rensport. Look at the HUD here. It's so much simpler than the default HUD in iRacing. I really don't like running all these overlays in iRacing. I don't think it makes for a great viewing experience for me as a streamer. So the fact that we've got a more modern HUD here, you can see at the top we've got the standings, we've got the delta in the middle of the screen at the top. That looks to be quite similar to iRacing in terms of that time bar. We've got an FPS counter right at the top, which is for me great as a streamer to know that I'm pumping out 60 FPS. We got the position, the lap timer and the clock in the top right. We got the, sorry, the lap counter, we've got the lap timer in the bottom left. And we've got the delta settings. We don't have a relative that I can see. And we don't have a radar, although like ACC, the radar may pop in at key moments. So the, the UI just seems a lot more polished, a lot more modern. And when you stand, when you put that side by side with iRacing, I think that has to be a pretty clear win for Rensport, to be honest. Now, there is a lot of functionality you get with overlays. So is Rensport going to open itself up to third party mods and overlays? I don't know. iRacing lives quite comfortably with that. Trading paints as well. Rensport have talked a lot about NFTs and digital ownership. So are they going to let you run custom liveries? I don't know. Are you going to need to pay for them as NFTs? I don't know. One other thing about Rensport, and you'll see here as we see some of the advertising on the right hand side, you see the, the gantry here as well. There's a lot of Porsche imagery in this lap. So we're driving in a Porsche. There's a Porsche billboard here in the top right. We're going to see Porsche adverts on the, on the right hand side as well. This is obviously a game that is you know, made or backed by Porsche. Why they're not more transparent about it, I don't know. It's the same thing they do with Overtake.gg, who are like a sim racing group that sort of maybe pretend to be organic, but really they're completely owned and bankrolled by Porsche. So this looks to be kind of a Porsche GT3 sim game. What's that going to mean for balanced performance? What's that going to mean for other cars in the game? I don't know. How are the Lamborghinis going to drive? How are the Audis going to drive? We'll see, but I would love if Rensport could just be a little bit more transparent about that. But I have to say on the whole, I'm really happy to see some footage here. I don't know whether this is going to be better than iRacing. All I know is that it's a lot more modern than iRacing and the graphics look to be better. And the driving here, there's nothing massively out of the ordinary. You can see that when we kiss the curbs, the car bounces, you might expect. They do cut away from the really heavy curb here. So there's something that they probably don't want to show. But in terms of the way that the car is rotating, a little bit of slip angle, how it's responding to the inputs on the brakes. It all seems quite, you know, realistic. Quite a lot of um, counter steer there that maybe I wouldn't expect. Um, so not sure how loose the handling model is. You can see here using all of the curbs and then some. A lot of steering input going in. 
and yeah let me know what your thoughts are in the comments what do you think about Rensport? do you want to see me do more of this do you want me to pick up with the Rensport guys and say hey can we get some hands-on footage stuff like that because you know i love sim racing i love driving acc i racing gran turismo 7 i'm all for competition in the space another sim in the space is great news so this has been the first look at Rensport. let me know what you think in the comments should we be covering this more are you a bit suspicious about it because of the nft stuff we don't know who owns it let me know in the comments and i'll see you next time